Okay, Dave, we're here six months after the closure of Wild West Adventure. Today is the opening of Red Bandit's Adventure. Uh, what's your first reaction? Are you satisfied with the results? Uh, welcome to have you here, first of all. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Uh, today is a very exciting day and you open a ride and uh, you can do it right or you can do it wrong. And uh, seeing I was taking the ride with the kids uh, of the governmental municipality uh, and the kids were so extremely happy to see it and that's when you feel you've done something good and the mission is accomplished, how we then can say it. Because if they would be looking boring in a ride, then you did not a good thing. So no, I'm extremely happy. I was a bit nervous this morning, but now everything is gone and we can relax. I like it. All right. Uh, what's your favorite aspect of the attraction? The favorite aspect is that uh, in the previous ride you had a you had a lot of scenery. Hey, you were going to a western scenery, and now you go to a western story. I think that's one of the main things what I really like about this ride, and it's uh, that we bring the success of the Red Bandits, which are growing every year, uh, in their own right now with their own cl clubhouse where you enter the right by the clubhouse and then you get the chance to become a red bandit that storyline is the thing i really like the most yeah why did you choose to incorporate the red bandits uh, instead of thinking of a new story to tell uh, it's because what we saw over the past years is that uh, randy and rosie are very popular in the park they're the main characters but we noticed that after the introduction of the red bandits they become more and more popular and we introduced them uh, for the little bit more older kids mm -hmm. uh, to, to give them their own character to grow further here within Slagar because we have such a loyal uh, fan base who visit us more and more uh, but they didn't have their own place except for the stage and we wanted just like Randy and Rosie have the mill we wanted to have them their own clubhouse mm -hmm. and then this uh, right refurbishment came in line and it was something we wanted to do for many years already yeah. and yeah then it's great to incorporate the red bandits in it yeah. uh, was it the idea of Slagara to incorporate the red bandits in it or did uh, the leisure expert group came with that idea no no it was our idea mm -hmm. that we wanted something with the uh, red bandits but by saying that i'm not totally honest to Lech because our relationship is so close in how we develop the entertainment in the park uh, so it's more like a combined effort together yeah. yes and did you consider uh, creating a Randy and Rosie attraction of it? Or has it always been Red Bandit? Always Red Bandit. Randy and Rosie are very prominent already in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are far more matured already. And, uh, the Red Bandits are upcoming. And you see them, them coming ever. They're, they're here coming behind me as you can see. So they, they want to take more place in the park. So it's not only uh, something that... I, can you move along? Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's, your, it's, your, it's your moment. It's my moment. I know. I know. <laughs> no, but they, they come in, uh, they take their place. And the nice thing is that we, we see that for the kids from eight, eight and older, they're in a kind of stage when they get a little bit naughty, they try things out with their parents, stealing a cookie from the jar. And that's exactly what the Red Bandits are also doing. And that's why we want to incorporate that and not Randy and Rosie in here. Uh, because they are already present here. Yeah. So we, we've been on it before and the queue behind me uh, indoors is it's actually quite large and if we look in this direction we see that the queue is actually quite large outside. How does that make you feel? Uh, so many people came out to ride it. What we said, and that's something, uh, it's a quote from our operations manager. And she's always saying, I want queues in my park. So I'm very happy, but if you would see Anouk now, she would smell from ear to ear. This is, this is what you want. This is, and hopefully it stays. Eh? <laughs> Uh, last time we spoke, we, uh, we asked you sort of a personal question. We uh, asked you if you could uh, take something uh, out of the old Wild West Adventure to your office. What I would take from to my office? Maybe a gun. <laughs> out of the office? No, no, no. Did one of the guns end up in your, in your office? No, the funny thing is it's, it, it doesn't. But uh, we are, well, we were testing this ride this week and there were some guns in the uh, in the Red Bandit Adventure, and the first thing I took was a gun. So, no, it's not in my office. <laughs> but you still have it? I still have it, yes. All right. 
Cool. Well, um, I think that uh, sums up our, uh, our talk for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. And, uh, hopefully we'll see each other soon with perhaps a new dark ride in Slagade. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you. Have a nice right. day. Thank you. I'm uh, the designer of the project you see behind us, so... Alright, thank you. Um, what do you think of the results, the attractions? Are you satisfied, especially you as the designer? Yeah, it's uh, great to see it come to life and uh, especially now that people are going through it, it's uh, really amazing to see it all come to life and to see the guests enjoying the ride, so that's great, it's amazing. Yeah. I think that's it's a, a big, a really big step for the park. We started with mm. the Red Bandits like a couple of years ago as entertainment. They function in shows. Then we saw the children, how they react on the Red Bandits, and it, it, it opened our world. So we said it's more than just characters, because people connect to the Red Bandits very much. <laughs> and when Slagar wanted to change his ride into something new, we were hoping that they would choose Red Bandits as a brand. And in the end, I think it's a really good match. Yeah. So we got rid of the, all the cowboys, all the Indians, the, the story about the fire. It was hard to do because it's also part of the park. Mm -hmm. But I think now we we change it into something that's new, exciting, and with one of my favorite characters, the Red Bandits. All right. uh, did you have to pitch the Red Bandits to Slagara, or did Slagara already came up with the idea of turning it into a Red Bandits attraction? I think we all had the feeling that it was mm -hmm. part of the park's DNA already. Mm -hmm. and we have Randy Rosie. The, the famous raccoons, red bandits, a um, little bit all the target audience. So it was actually not even in, in not a question. So the feeling was can, the question was can we turn it into a red bandit attraction? Yeah. So it's the other way around. All right. Um, what were the most challenging aspects of retheming this attraction? Well, I think what was really great is that we already had like a very great base to work from with the uh, existing ride, with the rocks, of course, that's already a very nice thing to work with. <laughs> um, but in terms of challenges, uh, I think the most uh, 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 that's always with, with retheming a ride is to make it something really different, so that it does feel like a new experience indeed. And I think looking at it, what uh, what we experienced today, I think that we came out pretty uh, pretty well with that. And um, yeah, of course, you know the the beautiful dome that you see behind it also give some challenges in terms of acoustics um, which uh, also brought some uh, choices we had to make for the music but uh, I think in the end uh, that really turned out pretty well actually and uh, it doesn't feel like a cacophony of uh, sound so that's uh, great. And what's your favorite aspect of the attraction? Ooh, my favorite aspect? Um, I think, uh, you know, Slagaard is a beautiful park and especially the Western theme is like very uh, grateful to, to work with uh, in, in that regard. Um, and I think that is really nice that we uh, have to, we, we got to induce that Western flavor in every aspect of the, of the ride. You know, in the animals that you encounter, those are very typical uh, American species uh, with the costuming. Of course, you have the iconic Red Bandits costume, but we uh, managed to seek some items out also for costuming. And yeah, basically I think the overall experience that you really have a, a through line in there and that you really have the Nissan Sand there, that's really great. Yeah. And uh, do you have a favorite aspect of the attraction? One of the things is I think if you do something different, then try to think different. So I think one of the... My favorite aspect is that we were standing here at this location with the whole Slagara team and we said, what can we do to improve this? And then we changed something very simple but very effective. So we said, what if we put the entrance now where the exit is? Mm -hmm. Because the exit was already beautiful. With the staircase, you go to the scenes. And we said, what if this is your queue? Mm -hmm. And for me, that change of plans was the most exciting, the most challenging one as well. Because we have to go to the store. But in the end, I think that made the attraction different than the one that was here before. Yeah. Yeah. And um, there's actually quite a large uh, group of people. I mean, look at how long the line is uh, currently. Uh, the attraction is already open for, for a while now. How does that make you feel? It is the best moment of the year when the attraction opens, the first people come in. 
we all know the first people that come to the park and to visit the rides are the fans. Those are the most important for us because they can say what they like, what they don't like. They know the park by heart. And behind there is a group of people that stay at the vacation park and they will see it in different ways. So this is actually the best spot to see all the smiling faces coming out, people that enjoy the ride. And hopefully the whole season will be like this. And this ride will have a queue every day. All right. Um, so we basically know Elijah Expert Group from uh, from a couple of dark rides and, uh, and, and show rides, uh, and mostly re-themes. Um, can we expect more from the Elijah Expert Group in the near future? Oh, there's so much more coming. Ah, uh, you, you have no idea. So, for in our world, like theme park fans, the next coming years will be very exciting, especially here in Holland and in Germany. But. I cannot tell you anything about it. I, I can assure you that uh, big things are happening uh, all around us. So for all the fans out there, uh, we got you covered and uh, it will be an exciting next five years. All right. Well, thank you very much. I think that uh, sums up uh, our experience here today. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the future. Yeah. One more time. Uh -huh.